Farm fans. We're taking one last slow ride on the 6610. We're in seventh gear right now. We just put it in eighth. Let's give it the juice and we'll see how fast we're going. We're gonna watch miles per hour right there on our Google Maps. slow especially on a tractor like I've always said this tractor <laughs> is a very leisurely ride and you definitely don't go anywhere fast but the steering is super smooth and the ride is very smooth it's not going crazy with uh, rice tires on this so yeah trying to go Nick speed at 2200 rpm According to Google Maps and their best abilities to track me everywhere I go, we're only maxing out at 14 miles an hour. And I like to get places. In fact, I don't know if that's faster than the hydro could go on the road. So that's kind of sad. So that was hopefully the last slow ride for a long time on the 6610. Now let's get back to the barn and we'll see the process of fitting her with new shoes. Here I probably had you think you were a tractor. No, not yet. We got uh, plenty more years of use. We expect to be out of this lovely blue machine. Poor thing needs a bath. It's been sitting in the barn getting dusty and the birds have been pooping on it. It's probably worse than being outside getting rain done because at least the rain would wash the dirt off. So I haven't gotten my measuring tape out to measure, say, how much difference the diameter, well, not the diameter so much as the circumference of the tire. Obviously, there's a big height difference. Um, you know, how much farther we'll make it in one revolution of the tire. I'd say there's a third more. Uh, yeah, very well could be. I mean, a 30, this is a 38 inch rim, but there's obviously the bigger tires have more sidewall that we've got yeah. eight. I'd say you go around the circumference, there's at least a third more. Yeah. So for every revolution, you're going a third faster. Yeah. Well, let's see. A 38 inch rim, a 19 inch radius. Um, circumference is. Wait, circumference is pi diameter. So three times. 38. Uh, it's about 120 inches around. Mm -hmm. hmm, 10 foot. 
on the outside of just that rim versus uh, 90, mm -hmm. roughly, 90 on a 30 inch rim, yeah. a little over 90, mm -hmm. which is less than eight foot. Yeah. So there's already two foot, there's a lot, this is, these are very round numbers, there's roughly two foot of difference. At the rim. Yeah, between rim circumference. So yeah, that's, uh, that's actually probably fairly accurate. Because these tires, well, you know, camera's on top of my head, so you're, you seem higher, but these are roughly six, almost six foot tall, and those 30s are maybe five. No, four to eight. Oh, I guess so, yeah. They don't look as big as they used to be. And these are five and a half. Huh? <gasps> Yeah, because I can kind of yeah. see over them barely. They're not quite six foot, I guess. Well, I hit some wrong settings on the camera. We just missed doing this by hand on my head. So we'll finish off seeing it. Now, I had it on time lapse. We'll see how it turned out, whether I play that clip of how fast we were going. Is it going down? There. Okay. Well, after all the noise, we see our shiny new lug nuts thanks to the fact that somewhere we misplaced those maybe or maybe the tractor didn't come with them those tires are not original it came with some little construction tire on it those were a big step up from the construction tires and these are a huge step up from those nice 30 inch wheels over there but we had these little lug nuts and those are just a bigger version because ford puts those nice big holes in on both sides, we didn't have to turn the hub or the wheel. Like, we just kind of walked it in and everything lined up. Uh, but we also got to realize, since these nuts are so big, the hole underneath is really big, too. So maybe that was why. And uh, this definitely is a lot tighter fit on the center. Um, those New Holland ones are a 6-inch. Ford, this is a 5.5-inch center hub. So we were relying on the studs to carry a lot of weight. Now the studs are just, there should be mostly, uh, say, tension force of just tight, tightening versus the shear of also carrying the load. And we'll take a second to enjoy the immense forward rake for a short time, and the solution is coming to that in the next clip. Let's see if our legs are long enough. Now, time for the see the difference in the speed run. Ready? Trying to get out of the barn, we got our new taller tires on. Oh, rats. And our exhaust is a little too tall. Let's try this again. We're getting close to a higher spot in the barn. Especially if I can get that tire to fall down the ramp right there just right. We made it. speed run again nobody's coming down the lane uh, we'll go straight for eighth gear I guess we got a nice downhill slope 
I don't know if it feels much faster yet. Let's bring up our map for a whopping four miles an hour at idle. Let's turn it up. before I put it back in the barn for surgery. Even with the bigger tires on the front, it still sits downhill a little bit. Uh, anybody guess where those came from? Yes, the magical F2 Gleaner I drug home. And I've now made use of all its tires on various machinery and sold some parts and used some parts. So that was a good junk buy, getting some use out of it. And let's see, I think we're in the near future going to rectify some of that weight conglomeration up front. I kind of feel like at least painting the, these rims at some point. I don't match the color scheme, but the tractor doesn't necessarily have perfect factory paint. It's not rusty, but you can see all the layers of its life that it was once, say, a state tractor with that yellow. Uh, but it does add patina, right? It's a farm tractor. It gets used. We got some ground clearance. I may want to find a step down draw bar because that kind of hits me right in the kneecap. See, the, the, this view is better from the other side because the yard light over there, but we'll go for a full circle tour. This side looks like the other side. Well, congratulations, you watched this long to see the lovely views of the tractor like this. I didn't get much of a before shot, and maybe I will, I don't know, dig up some old footage or an old picture with the smaller tires, or put a link to old videos. Uh, so we'll catch you guys later with more fun farming action.